Hey, what's up, everyone? This is going to be a Yuri's Revenge game on Hidden Valley. This is a good Yuri map. And about a min couple minutes into it, I started the uh, um, video right here because nothing really happened. All I did was go a couple minus from the War Factory. And usually on this map, I think it's the best amount of minus to have is five. And sometimes you go four and you might go slightly low money, but not too much. But I don't like to go um two minus from War Factory too much because of the fact that um well you gotta tech up two minus from War Factory then you make another um refinery that you play kind of like Country Swing you you might like not get the Psychic Dominator up as fast and that's kind of like the most important thing is to rush the Psychic Dominator. He's trying to go for that oil. So he probably can't get that way right now, but if he moves his gas away, he could. And now just that there's a um, Gatling cannon there, which probably shoot this disc down. So he doesn't want to mess with that. So this is going to be a UFO war, or a um, floating disc war. Um, I'm going to fast forward it when like nothing happens, because sometimes like it gets into like a disc war that is piling up disc and nothing happens for like about five minutes. Um, I mean, other than that, yeah, this is, this, you know, Russia Psychic Dominator, Genetic Mutator, um, is more of, like, a neutralizer to the other Genetic Mutator, but you could get money from Brutes if the other person doesn't make it, or fails to make it, or gets it blown up. The, um, Battle Lab's a little bit important. That's one of the things you want to hit with the Psychic Dominator, and another thing that's important is, what to hit first with the Psychic Dominator, sometimes, if you're going for a long game, you know, you might want to um, dominate the oil first. But I think if you assume this, it might not be a long game, you dominate, hit the base once, and then hit the oil second. Or try to get the um, one one or two oils with a disc if you can. It's kind of hard to do it with a disc. I mean, it's easy to do with siege choppers if you're Soviet. You get those oils. Or even planes. Well, planes kind of so-so. When I was, like, new at this, I used to make, like, um... When I, I don't think it's even a really a bad tactic. I used to make like two airports and just like shoot oils when I was um, allies. Like this is like a long, long time ago. I don't do that anymore because I can't spend that much money in planes and get them shot down. You kind of had to have to know how much money you can spend. But you know, dominating the oil. Sometimes you do like the best thing to dominate. If I was me, I would dominate that battle lab and that war factory. But since you both got two super weapons, you know, we're going to long game, let's get the oils first. Another good idea would be to dominate the, um, one of the factories. I noticed how, um, he got the psychic dominator first, the orange player, the orange Yuri. And now he's gonna put him, he might even put him low power for a little while, depending on if his power got knocked off. So that's really problematic to happen. Get your um, get psychic dominator first is really problematic. Not only can you be like 30 seconds behind, but if you hit low power, you're gonna be more than 30 seconds behind. But you can defend against have by having extra power plants as Yuri. Sometimes the Yuri gets lazy with the power plants. I notice he has a Gatlin on the hell and. Yeah, he does have the hospital. That one, he, he looks like he wants to drain that power plant in the bottom, but the orange Yuri does not want that to happen. And you gotta put one bunker in the back of the base. And maybe a grinder, just in case. Grinder's a good idea, just in case you lose the MCV. It's good insurance policy. Make a new MCV. And you could grind some stuff, maybe. Yuri gets less to grind versus another Yuri than other um, player, than other teams. Notice that both um, genetic mutators are on zero. I actually don't do that. I actually try to. Um, I mutate anyway when I'm playing, usually. And if he mutates me, then I got um, try to get my immunus promoted by killing the brutes. So you notice like nothing's really happening right now for a little while. Uh, 
This is why I'm gonna start fast forwarding because it just dancing around. And actually, I, I had a match like this when I was um, allies versus Soviet, or yeah, I was allies versus Soviet, where um, I kept going back and forth with the um, helicopters and trying to spy him and trying to seal him and trying to trying to get to his base and he's defended and mass siege choppers and oh my god, it could. Super weapons are off. Allies versus Soviet or Soviet versus Allies or Allies versus Allies. Um, it could it actually to a long hectic game or a hole in the oilless paramount. So, okay, that's hit. Powers off. He's going for the MCB. Don't think he could get it. He might have been a better choice to try to get uh. Bad lab because I think it'd be a better chance. Now he could actually try to go in and be a little bit risky. Actually, yeah, I don't want to even go in against five Gatlins and all this discs. I'd kill, I'd kill the Raider in the front if I were him, maybe if he can. As he still had the machine shop. Yeah, he could actually harass a lot of the machine shop. All you gotta do is wait a minute. Now it's gonna go and fast forward. So I thought Orange had that one right there and he kind of moved away. I'm mean, like, huh? A little bit confused why he ran. Or maybe because he was dead, he knew he was going like, to dominate. I don't know. He'd be pretty smart if he did. So we're going to let this go for a few minutes and then I'll be back to you.
Okay, so Orange is gonna win this game. You see, he um waited until the mastermind died to go in with the Gatling tanks, and then after that, he basically had to be careful with everything. And then he cleaned up after the mastermind died, and he knew he was gonna win. So everything added up into a win. And